Hi friends. Yesterday's events in Washington, D.C. are a stark reminder of the division and turmoil in our nation. Regardless of our political party or the policies or politicians we support, regardless of whether we are in the minority or the majority, regardless of whether we win or lose, violence is not an appropriate, acceptable, or democratic response. It's hard to know what to say in a situation like this. I have my perspective and opinions just like everybody else. And of course, I think that I'm right. But I also know that not everyone understands or approaches the world in the same way that I do. And I'm thankful to live in a country where we can not only hold different beliefs, but also express them. I am sad and angry over and embarrassed and disgusted by this blatant disrespect for truth and disregard for democracy. As a Christian, one of the things that I am most dismayed about is the way that God and Jesus and faith have been co-opted by politics. Let's remember that God is not a Democrat or a Republican. Jesus was not American or Christian. Faith informs our politics, but faith and politics are not the same. The distinguishing mark of a Christian is love. In the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verses 34 and 35, Jesus says, I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. We must lead the way in showing love. We don't have to agree. We don't have to conform. We don't have to like. We do have to forgive. We do have to empathize. We do have to sacrifice if we are to love others as Jesus loved us. Let's take a moment to pray for ourselves and our nation. Generous and loving God, thank you for our country, for the freedoms we enjoy, for the men and women who have defended it, and for those who continue to do so. We are grateful. Lord, there is deep division in our nation and even among family and friends. Reconcile those broken relationships. Heal the hurt feelings. Help us to recognize the things we have in common, like shared goals, hopes, and dreams. We all want our nation to be safe. We all want our economy to be strong. We all want our citizens to be healthy. We all want our children to be educated. We all want violence to end. We all want to live in peace. Help us to see each other as more than political positions and enable us to work with and through our differences so that the best we each have to offer will come together for the good of the entire nation and even the whole world. Above all, help us and all who call themselves Christians to be like Jesus who believed in people and never despaired of them, who through all disappointments never lost heart, who disregarded his own comfort and convenience and thought first of others' needs, and though he suffered long, was always kind, who when he was reviled uttered no harsh words in return, and when he suffered, did not threaten retaliation. 
who humbled himself and carried obedience to the point of death, even death on the cross, wherefore you have highly exalted him. May Christ dwell in us, so that the light of hope is in our eyes, the strength of faith in our heart, and the peace of love in our relationships. We pray in Christ's name. Amen.